Welcome everyone. Today is the 15th of September 2018 and this is episode 59 of Priority One Armada Live. I'm your host, Winters. Let's get things started by introducing my two co-hosts for tonight's events. Always ready to top up those shot glasses with a wee dram or two. It's the fascinating and intelligent Admiral Cat. How's it going, Cat? Pretty good. You? Not too bad, not too bad. Also joining me tonight is the mischievous scamp who will steal your shoes if you turn your back. It's Captain Jason. How's it going, Jason? How are you doing? Doing good. Good stuff. Excellent. So, Kat, how's your uh, week been? How's uh, the last seven days been for you? Oh, pretty busy, but good otherwise. All right, okay. Um, you uh, getting uh, much game time in over the last week? I did, actually, a fair amount, so that's good. I've been planning a special uh, event, you know. Really? Maybe for, like, the Halloween time. Oh, wow. Oh, excellent. I actually genuinely cannot wait to hear more on that. So I'm actually looking forward I to it. I know. Well, Halloween's my favorite holiday, so yeah. come on. We got to do something, right? Yep, exactly, exactly. Uh, Jason, how about you? How's the last week been for you, buddy? Now I've... Uh... I'm taking a little break from Stowe for right now. I'm getting my son going with school and, uh, of course, helping a couple of neighbors out. So, uh, other than that, it's been pretty good. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, we invite you to head on over to Drazona Station, instance number three, and join us as we load the torpedo bays and shine the beam arrays before heading out to do random PvE queues. Before heading into combat, we'll be discussing the latest in Star Trek Online and Priority One Armada news in our weekly roundtable. Kat, tell us what are the giveaways for tonight's show, please. Well, we do have giveaways for tonight. I bet everyone's excited. We are going to give away three accelerated officer training pack codes. So mm -hmm. those are awesome. Uh, if you don't have one, <laughs> maybe, you, you know, this is your chance to win. Um, but otherwise, for your chance to win any of the stuff we give away, just tune into the Priority One Armada Live on Twitch on Saturdays and enter the keyword of the day in the chat box. But don't worry if you're not a winner this week. We have plenty of other chances for you to win stuff. Um, with that said, Winters, is it time for our first giveaway? Yes, uh, we will start things rolling. Just let me get set up here really, really quickly. Um, so, as Kat said, uh, we have an accelerated officer training pack code for our first giveaway. Uh, this code, uh, we strongly recommend that you use on a brand new character, and here's why. Uh, the code will unlock for you in the promotions tab a tier 1 constitution starship, a XP boost, but most importantly, it will grant you a full set of very rare level appropriate gear every 10 levels, from level 10 to level 40-ish, roughly. I can't, I can't remember. It's one of the two. Uh, so every 10 levels, you get a very rare level-appropriate gear every 10 levels, which can make leveling a new character a hell of a lot easier. Uh, so these are really, really good codes uh, to get <coughs> for that purpose. Um, so anyway, yes, uh, for the first giveaway, we want you to type in the word Saru. S-A-R-U, into the Twitch chat now, please, to enter yourself in with a chance of winning an Accelerated Officer Training Pack code. Uh, Could you remind people that if they have already received one, it right. will only work once per account? Right. So if you've already received one of these codes, either from us or maybe somebody else, uh, you won't be able to win a second one. Uh, in that case, what we'll do is we'll, we'll send you a substitute prize. Um, we'll probably give you... What do you think, guys? 15, 20 tech upgrades? Superior tech upgrades? Ooh, yeah. 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 That sounds good. Yeah. So we'll we'll uh, send uh, 15 or 20, probably 20, 20 uh, superior tech upgrades in lieu of that prize um, if you've already won one in the past. So, uh, yeah, a little something for everybody there. Uh, Jason, tell us what we have in store for tonight's show, please. Well, after our round of round table discussion, we will be running random PVE queues with you because it's bonus marks weekend. That's right. With tier six reputation right around the corner, this is a good time to stock up on any marks you might need. Definitely. 
And also, we love hearing from our fans. So if you have any questions about the show, weekly giveaways, or you just want to show us some love, then click on the follow button in Twitch so you'll be notified when we're on the air. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. At it. Jeez, Jason, stop interrupting me. God. <laughs> <laughs> While you're at it, come chat with us in-game by joining the Priority One chat channel. It's simple to join. Just type in the in-game chat box forward slash channel underscore join space Priority One and then hit the enter key. The Priority One Armada staff works tirelessly to make shows and planning special events that our community enjoys. And we thank you all for your continued support and donations to our great Armada. If you're interested in lending a helping hand to our show, then click on the donate button on our Twitch page so we can continue the tr this tradition for years to come. We also have Armada-themed merchandise at our Calf Press store. With new merchandise being added all the time, all donations are voluntary and go directly back into our member services like our website, domain, TeamSpeak, and much, much more. You can find all these links mentioned below on our Twitch page. And again, on behalf of Winters, James, Riker, and Rikers, and the rest of the Priority One Armada staff, we thank everyone for your continued love and support. This is your show, and we'll continually work hard to give you the best show experience possible. If you're looking for a friendly and helpful community to join in Star Trek Online, then come join Priority One Armada by simply heading over to PriorityOneArmada.com and sign up today. We have Fed and Kadia fleets on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Uh, so before we move on, uh, I want to apologize to Captain Josh uh, a little earlier when we were on uh, TeamSpeak. He actually sent me a message, and I didn't see it until I came down to Studio A to um, uh, start getting ready for the show. And he was looking for a fleet invite, and uh, yeah, I didn't see the message until then. So I'm sorry that I missed your message, dude, and hopefully you got sorted out. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have so much to talk about in this week's STO News segment, so let's jump right into the roundtable. Cass, please tell us all about, um, looking to see what the first topic is, uh, Bonus Marks Weekend, please. I was like, yeah, I think it's Bonus Marks Weekend. Um, well, as Jason just mentioned, it is Bonus Marks Weekend, so that started on Thursday and runs to Monday uh, at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. You can earn bonus marks by playing content throughout the game. Uh, during this event, uh, any content that provides any marks, fleet, or reputation marks gives you a 50% bonus above normal uh, amounts, and this bonus is available for all content that rewards marks. Uh, so if you're in maybe the Dyson, you know, battle zone or what have you, or on New Romulus, since I was doing that this week, you get bonus marks. Uh, and also, if you go, um, if you have your reputation, you know, your, not reputation, sorry, your duty officer uh, stuff up to level four, and you're going to go turn in your duty officer commendation missions at the Starbase, you do get bonus fleet marks for those missions as well. So that's a way to earn bonus fleet marks. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so, Jason, have you been taking advantage? I, I think I know what the answer is, but I'll ask you anyway. Have you been taking advantage of the bonus marks weekend since it kicked in? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah. Today will be the first day. I didn't think so. Uh, how about you, Cash? Have you been taking advantage of it? Yes, in that awesome. you mean I'm still running the breach and earning. Man, you can get like uh, almost 200 marks from running mm -hmm. the breach, so that's pretty cool. Yep. For your first run, yeah, you you really can. Um, I've been, I haven't been taken as much of an advantage as I should be, if if you know what I mean. Um, I have quite a few characters that are still working on reputations, and really, I should be living on the PVE queues to, um, you know, basically start building up their marks so they can finish out the reputations, but. We have so much stuff going on now in the Armada and indeed for the show. Um, and then with real life stuff, I've actually been finding it hard to get on the game to, you know, take advantage of it as I wish I could. But um, I've been doing like you can. I've been doing the breach every day and, you know, that's building up extra marks um, for when tier six reputations come along. Um, I've definitely been thinking about that. Um, so so that's pretty good, you know, to build up as many marks there. So I think, um, I don't know, are we going to be talking about it later? But I think um, 
tier six reps are going to take something like nine hundred marks to go from yeah, tier five that. to tier six. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, man. So a good idea to start um, building up those marks now, and uh, that way, when tier six reputations come along, you can just jump straight into it. Um, right. Okay. I think we've talked that to death. Um, so it is time to award the winner of our first giveaway. And the winner of an accelerated officer training pack code is Twitchy Samurai. Yes, Twitchy Samurai. Well done. Congratulations. Congrats. If you can please contact me and let me know what your in-game at handle is, uh, we will send that prize to you at the end of the show. So, uh, yeah, congratulations, and uh, don't forget to contact me. We need your in-game details so that we can send you the prize. Otherwise, you're going to go without. Um, right, moving on to item number two. Jason, please tell us all about the support cruiser stats, please. Yes, starting this Thursday, September 13th, new cruiser class and battle cruiser class vessels are available on the sea store for Federation and Klingon characters, and they're respected allied members among the Romulan and Dominion factions. These new vessels will be available in both non-fleet and fleet variants. Special introductory pricing discount from Thursday until Monday, September 17th. You can get these ships for 2400 Zen each when purchased individually or in a two-ship bundle for the price of 3200 Zen. Thereafter, they will return to their normal pricing at 3000 Zen when purchased individually or 4000 Zen for the two-ship bundle. Fleet version of each of these ship starships will unlock a upon completing your fleet starbase tier three shipyard. The standard fleet module discounts apply if you have purchased the ship from the sea store. Right. Um, we'll start off with Kat. Have you purchased any of these ships? No, you know, I'm not a big fan of the bigger ships, cruisers and battle cruisers, not my favorite. Right. Okay. So I, I probably won't pick these up. I mean, unless everyone's going to start raving about them and say they're super awesome. Right. But I haven't, I haven't heard that yet. What do you guys think? Um, I haven't purchased them either. Um, I, I've got enough cruisers. I've got cruisers that are coming out the wazoo you know i've i've got so many cruisers i don't have enough characters for all the cruisers i have i need more escorts and uh science ships i don't need more cruisers um exactly for so, sure and i've got a million i don't fly half of them you right know? yeah um it's nice that they've updated the sea store or not uh, the sea store but the uh the enterprise c you know and given a a nice new look to um the enterprise c for a tier six variant that's pretty nice um, but no, I, I haven't like, all right. Do you remember the, uh, the recon bundle, the, the two ships that came out prior to this? Like I was yeah, yeah. very I interested get, in I those. I did get those. See, yeah. I got those. Yeah. I think there was a lot of interest for those ships, but, uh, for me, I, I'm not as interested in these support cruisers. I, I don't know. Maybe I might pick them up at some point down the road, but uh, yeah. how about you, Jason? Have you picked up these ships or are you interested? As well? No, I don't. I'm not sure if I'm really interested in these particular ships. I mean, I still want to get the uh, the last ships that came out, of course, because the recon ships. Yes, I right. want those recon ships. I mean, I've got a lot of ships right now that I'm trying to get, you know, my masteries done as it is. Uh -huh. So, so no, nah, I don't think I'm actually going to mess with them. Well, Bull says they're super awesome, and Loppy Dog says that uh, they love theirs. So, I don't, maybe they're worth checking out. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Um. I mean, like they're going for a good price at the moment, you know. Uh, you know, uh, they are. Is it? Wait, is it this Monday they're going back up to uh, full price? Is this? I yes. Think so. I think yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. Um, but look at, you know, if, if you're in a position where you can't buy them now, cause you, you know, you don't have the money, you don't have the Zen, whatever ship sales always come around. So you, you'll have an opportunity to purchase them again in the future if you do want them. 
Yeah, I think that's what I'm probably going to wait for is the next uh, ship sale. Right, okay. It, with school starting for my son and everything, you know, money gets put toward him first. So. Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah that's uh, totally understandable for sure. Um, and real life always has to come first. Uh, you know, it's, it's yes. one of the core things about Priority One Armada is that real life commitments will always come first. And, you know, when you have time then for the Armada, um, you can, you know, then put a bit of time into that. But, so, you know, we don't live and breathe the game. Anyway, um, let's move on to item number three. Cass, can you tell us about the Voral Support Battlecruiser? I think I pronounced that right. <laughs> Sure. So the Klingon variant is this Boral uh, support battle cruiser. Some of the stats, I'm not going to read all of them because you guys can look at this kind of stuff up yourselves. <laughs> but it's got four four weapons, four aft weapons, so four and four set up. And it's got, let's see, one lieutenant tactical, one lieutenant commander tactical, uh, one command engineering slash temporal uh, seat and one ensign universal, one lieutenant commander universal. Hey, that's kind of a cool setup. Um, turn rate of 10 and does come with cloaking device. Well, that's the Klingon variant. I don't think the Fed one comes with that. And then uh, it looks like a molecular reconstruction console that looks pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I, again, I just really don't like cruisers. They are way too slow and they turn real. Too slow for me. I can't deal with it. <laughs> I tell you, uh, this one now I kind of am a little bit interested in, but that's only because it's a T6 version of the Vorcha. I love the Vorcha. I just I do love like that ship. the Vorcha. Yeah, yeah. but I, there's so many other KDF ships that I like more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I take it you're not interested in this one either, Cat. No, you know, I, I don't fly these things on my KDF. Mom, my KDF are small and fast. Right, so uh, <laughs> birds of prey and burrells and stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But I did get the recon ship. And, you know, for a destroyer, which I actually kind of like destroyers, they're nimble and a little bigger, but I, I like that one a lot. Right, right, right. <sighs> How about you, Jason? Well, I do need more kdf ships mm -hmm. i mean i don't have enough and i definitely don't have no tier six as of yet for my kdf character so it's possible so it, it still weighs on you know <laughs> trying to pick what i want but of course if i get those recons and i get another kdf ship if i do the bundle for those so right right but you know what is interesting about these ships is that they have the temporal seating, so that's kind of a different twist to some of these cruisers. I, I like ships that have the temporal seating. Yeah, there's definitely some interesting combinations that you can do when you know if they, when they have those seating. Um, I I'm kind of, this is one of those things where uh, I, I'm I'm on the fence on whether or not uh, I want to see. The introduction of tier 7 ships and I don't want to see the introduction of tier 7 ships because in in the argument for uh, if we do see tier 7 ships in, in the not too distant future um, there's going to be an extra bridge officer station most likely so that's an extra ability and I think the abilities are a little bit tight at the minute you know because uh, you kind of need every single one of those seats on a T6 ship but the addition of one extra one it, it can make a big difference, you know? It really, really can. Suddenly, you're not stuck to ensign abilities, maybe, and you are uh, you can instead use a lieutenant ability, uh, like you said, maybe in Temporal Operative. But I've bought nearly every Tier 6 ship in the Sea Store. Nearly. Now, not all of them, but I'm pretty close to it. And I don't really want to have to go and do that all over again when they bring out Tier 7 ships. <laughs> Oh, you know? like you, uh, you're freaking me out talking about tier seven. No yeah. way, I do not want to <laughs> deal with that. Yeah. The only thing I might like about these uh, ships is these consoles because I like a lot of the timey wimey builds, and I use my temporal skills a lot. So some of these consoles, the temporary temporal trajectory shifter, and history will remember is the trait. So those are kind of interesting. Uh, if you like temporal builds. Yeah, uh, 
they'd be kind of sciencey builds, wouldn't they? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I like that kind of right. Thing. I was just going to say that you're you're pretty well into the sort of science side of uh, STO. I know that you've got a good yeah. few characters that are science characters. I know. I and I swore I wasn't going to make a new character. Dang it! And I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Science. So I know. I, I lean definitely lean towards science. Um, you're not the only one there about making new characters. I uh, created one uh, the other night as well, Cat. After you done yours, because it was like <laughs> crap. <laughs> I'm gonna know. have to create a new one. And <laughs> last night, I realized I have to create a second one because of I can't really say at the moment, but it's, <sighs> it's due to upcoming stuff in the Armada, and I, I need a particular type of character for things that we're working on at the minute. Um, so. Watch this space and you know, you'll find out more in the passage of time. Um, anyway, moving on to item number four. Jason, please tell us all about the new queue. In the 2250s, one of the most... Pivotal. What is that? Pivotal battles of Klingon War was defense of Starbase 1. Now captains in Star Trek Online will have the opportunity to experience that battle firsthand through a historical simulation. Launching with Age of Discovery, defense of Starbase 1 will be a task force operation playable by all factions. You will face several, several waves of increasing difficulty, a difficult Klingon ships and have to defend escaping civilians. When to earn a choice of Mark's box and more. Okay, um, Cat. Have you been on to Tribble to check out this queue? No, no. I have not. Have right. you? No, I haven't either. Uh, Jason, have you been on to Tribble to check out this queue? I can no longer get on Tribble because I stopped my subscription to save money for... Lifetime. Lifetime, right. yes. Uh, I think you actually can still get on Tribble. Because I'm oh, pretty, could I? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Do you remember when they uh, got rid of the monthly subscription? You know, that no right. new people could do it? Uh, they opened up Tribble to everybody. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Then. So, I, have, I thought I couldn't get on there anymore. Yeah, so, so there's no more uh, um, restricted to gold members. The, 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 that's gone. So anybody can get on to Tribble now. Um, okay. Right. I haven't uh, been on to check out this queue. Um, I I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I would have thought that Starbase 1 would be ESD. Am I alone in that assumption? Or do you guys kind of think? See, I, I, would, I would think so, too. What but it's Discovery. So is Discovery have a, um, a different type of... ESD? I can't remember. I mean, it's a historical simulation. I feel like this is like the Michael Jackson hologram or something. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I I, mean, I guess it's interesting, historic simulation. It also, you know, reminds me of the last episode of, of Enterprise. <laughs> right. So I, I hope it's better than that. Um, yeah, that, I... I, I suppose I really have to uh, get on to Tribble and try it out. But then there's another part of me that doesn't want to, you know. Because I know that there's going to be not an awful lot of content coming with the release of Age of Discovery. I kind of don't want to spoil it by jumping on to Tribble to play the one or two little things that there's going to be, you know. Um, yeah, I don't I don't like playing this stuff. For, sometimes. No, I did, you know, do uh, the temporal agents of yesterday. I did log into Triple to check that out because I was really excited about it. But now I just like to wait till it's out. Yeah. Uh, to do that, and also in chat, Live Space TV was asking what Triple was, and thank you, Mark, for answering that. It's the test server, so you can um, copy your character over to the Triple test server and try out new stuff that they're working on. Yeah. So. Uh, th there's different servers. Uh, Holodeck is the main server. That ho that's Holodeck, all right? The, where the main game is where you create your character and you level it up and play all the missions. That's Holodeck. Then you have the Tribble server. And Tribble is for testing upcoming content. And as Kat said, you can actually make a mirror copy of your character from Holodeck onto Tribble and he will get every single... Th it'll be an exact mirror copy of your character. And um, th 
there's a, a special console on Drazona Station, only on Tribble, and you can get any currency there that you want. So, for example, you can get free Dilithium, as much Dilithium as you want. Um, you can get free reputation or fleet marks. You can get free fleet credits and energy credits. Um, you can get all that stuff. You can get free respect tokens and specialization points and all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the difference or what Tribble is. Um, I've, I have one more question I want to ask you guys. Um, and it was about something that was mentioned in uh, this little bit of a blog. Task Force Operations. Uh, what do you guys think of this new, let's call it rebranding of the PvE queues? Um, do you think it's good and is it going to stick? Well, I'm not going to bring up James' <coughs> description of it from last week, what he thinks of it. I mean, well, I don't know. It, I, I guess we'll see, but... It sounds just like repackaging of the same things that just we've been yeah, having. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure on how to actually answer that one yet. Yeah. So basically, what they're doing is um, the PVE queues are getting a revamp with uh, the release of Age of Discovery. Um, I think it's going to be a great addition to the game. It's going to liven up, or it's going to, it's going to create the. Um, perception that the queues are full of life again uh, because right now at the moment it's just um, uh, choice overload um, so what they've said is you know there's, there's loads of people queuing up for all the different queues the problem is not everybody's queuing up for the same thing at the same time uh, so the new system that they're coming out with is going to make a big difference to that so for anyone that's not uh, aware what's going to happen is uh, you can still queue up for whatever queue you want. Um, so let's say Crystalline Catastrophe Advanced, all right? And it'll play just the same as it has in the past. Uh, you'll get the same rewards, no difference there. Or you can queue up for the random element. They're introducing a new random element. And um, basically what will happen is uh, it will pick people who have queued up for the random side of things and they will end up playing any one of the queues there's like a hundred odd queues in the in in the game and the system will pick one of those queues now its priority is to fill the queues that are uh, being selected first so let's say cat wants to play crystalline catastrophe okay and she goes straight to crystalline catastrophe she doesn't go through the random system but Jason and myself, we go through the random system. We're going to get teamed up with Kat straight away to fill her queue. And it'll just continue on in that vein. If uh, Rikers wants to play um, Infected the Conduit Advanced, uh, and he goes straight to it, he doesn't go through the random system, but me, Jason, and Kat do, then when we queue up for the random side of things, it's going to throw us in with uh, Rikers as he's playing the... Uh, uh, the um, uh, infected the conduit and if there is nobody then that is queuing up for a specific queue as in everybody's in the random element the system will just pick a random queue simple as that okay. so all right well i like that sounds a little better but still feels like i'm gonna get stuck in bug hunt at some point <laughs> well <laughs> that's my concern it may happen uh but the random side of things is only for normal and advanced difficulty. It's not for elite difficulty, okay? Um, if you do queue up for the random side of things, you will have the choice of any mark you want. Doesn't matter what the queue is, okay? So if you play uh, Infected the Conduit and you queued up through the random system, you can pick any marks. The person who queued up for infected the conduit specifically they're stuck with the board marks but because you went through the random system you can pick any mark you want and then on top of that you get a random bonus award on top of it which is extra marks and extra dilithium um and i believe there's five different tiers it can it, it can uh, possibly reward from what i remember from reading from the blog um 
See, it sounds great, and in like it's going to incentivize people to do it. But then, what about when exactly when you get into the queues that you absolutely hate? You're like, oh man, I do not want to do this. And right. are people just going to leave, or do you have an option to be like, oh, let me do something else because that is what I don't want to do right now? Well, um, I don't. I I would imagine that the lever penalty will still be there if you're the first one to leave. Uh, I do know that. Um, there is no cooldowns if you go through the random system. So if you do any queue through the random system, uh, you can queue right back up again straight away, and you could end up playing the same queue again. Um, there's no no cooldowns on any queue at all through the random system. Uh, what I would say to you is that there's probably what a handful of queues that you don't like. And there's a lot yeah. of cues in game. You I mean, know. I know there's a lot that I haven't even played. So, right. like, I mean, there's probably yeah. ha a handful out of a hundred that you don't like. So the chances are you're you're probably going to get them at some stage, but more often than not, you're not going to get them. You're going to get something else that you either haven't tried or something that you do like. But they do give you the do they give you a space or ground option so you can get yourself set up properly? That's that's something that has been brought up by a lot of people. Uh, I've seen Jeremy Randall uh, tweeting about it. And for anyone that doesn't know, he's the lead systems designer for Star Trek Online. And it's something they're aware of. And uh, they're working on it. That's all they've said. Um, I would imagine they're going to let you change your specializations and stuff in missions upon the release of Age of Discovery. So you won't have to do it prior to a mission because the whole random queue thing could totally screw you up. You could be specting oh, yeah. to ground, uh, you know, using the commando specialization and whatever other specialization and end up being in a space mission and you're completely screwed. So I, oh, sure. I, I think they're going to let you um, change that stuff in missions um, when Age of Discovery comes out. Um but who knows? They might come up with some other clever idea, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm interested. I mean, I'll try it just to see what it's like. And if I don't get Bug Hunt, then I'll try it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, remember, you know, if if you find that you're getting cues that you don't like and you're like, do you know what? You know, the extra rewards just ain't worth it for you. You can still queue up for whatever cues you want and it'll just populate it with people from the random side. You know, right. so you can still pick what you want to play specifically, and you can go ahead and do it. You know, so there, there, there's an option for both people. I think it's going to be a great addition to the game because what they've been saying for so long is there is loads of people queuing up. It's just not enough to keep. You know, let's say there's people queuing up for fifty different queues, but there isn't enough people to fill fifty different queues. If right, you, if exactly. you know what I mean. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is going to change that dramatically, and I think it's a pretty good system. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, like, yeah, I like the concept. At least they're trying to improve and, right. and give us quality of life improvements, and, yeah. and that's what I really like about the devs. They really do, you know, want to make the game better. Yeah, I've heard um, players say, you know, uh, maybe they took a hiatus away from the game, and they come back and... Um, because you, you know what happens. A new season is released. Uh, there's a new reputation, usually. Um, and there's a new queue or a number of queues that give that particular type of mark. And what happens is those queues get played constantly for, let's say, three, maybe four months. After four months, unless it's a really, really good queue, it dies away. People have finished all the reputations and it dies away. And then you have Joe Bloggs over here who comes back after a year's break and he tries to play that queue, but nobody's playing it. And he can't get the marks then to finish out his reputation. This new system is going to solve that problem for him because he can uh, go through the random system, play any queue and get any type of mark he wants and he can fill out, finish out all his reputations. Yeah, so I think... For players like that, definitely, it's going to be a help. Yeah. And then, I mean, I'll definitely give it a go because, I mean, I play the same cues pretty much all the time because I know they're going to 
pop for me. Right. Well, we all have our favorites, don't we? You know. Oh look! Someone brought their dinosaur with lasers. Ah, uh, nice. Excellent. Uh, cool. <laughs> I don't have mine yet. Oh, Fantastic. it's awesome. Fantastic. Um. Right, I think we've talked that to death. Uh, let's move on to item number five. Uh, Kat, can you tell us about the new Victory is Life blog, please? I can. It's really short. So basically, there's a new blog. And again, I'm giving you guys homework because you should read the full blog. It's pretty interesting. I like these fiction blogs. Uh, I think they're good. The, the subject matter of this week's blog is a founder finds a secret that could end the Herc War in the final fiction blog from Victory is Life. So they kind of supplement the story missions if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, just go to the website and check it out. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, uh, moving on to item number six. Uh, Jason, could you tell us about Xbox and PS4 news, please? Yes, uh, announcing uh, next week, two brand new, new ships are coming to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. The new Orleans class, updated to 20, the 25th century to the Lafayette class, and the Klingon Emp Empires. All right, I want to try it. Ketha class recon raptor will soon be available for purchase in the C store, both individually and in, and as a bundle. In the in addition, the bundle will be twenty percent off for the first weekend it's on sale. You'll be able to find more about them in our stats blog tomorrow. But first, here's a look at the design. Uh, you can go to the the website and you can see all of it. It's the Lafayette class. Uh, we were already talking about the recon ships that the uh, PC had gotten, and they are really awesome ships. Um, research and development sell an event. For a limited time, research and development packs will be available to the to, to captains for 20% off from Tuesday, September 11th to Monday, September 17th. Both research and develop, development packs, as well as bundles, will be discounted during the Infinity R&D promotion. Research and development packs normally 300 zen, now 240. Uh, console patch notes, there is a lot of console patch notes, so please go to Star Trek Online and read all the patch notes. Right, that's everything for Xbox and PS4? Yes. Awesome, right. Uh, I realized I should have kicked off the uh, um, second giveaway uh, after I finished the last one, uh, but it slipped my mind. So, I was wondering about that. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to do it now. So what we would like you to do is please type in the word Tilly into the Twitch chat now to enter yourself in with the chance of winning an Accelerated Officer Training Pack code. Uh, remember, these codes we recommend you use them on a brand new character. And if you have already won one of these before in the past, you won't be able to win a second one, but we'll give you a substitute prize of some superior tech upgrades. So you'll, you'll get something at the very least. Um, yeah. So type in the word Tilly now. Uh, moving on to item number six, patch notes uh, for PC this week. Uh, many Klingon Allegiance duty officers have had their minimum level for usability reduced from 22 to 11. This affects Goshi, the augmented uh, Varel automated personnel unit, and others. Updated the description on Bajorn racial trait to match functionality. It now correctly indicates plus kit performance instead of generic healing increases. They resolve an issue where the Iconian ground shield could cause secondary effects of coordinated uh, coordinate, bleh, excuse me, coordinated effort kit module to end early, and the Spikes Gemadarm mouth accessory is no longer available in the category helmet and wraps. Um, right, uh, so actually, Kat, could you do item seven? Uh, just because I want to get set up for uh, the giveaway. Absolutely, Thank we you. have some Armada news. Uh. Mainly birthdays. Awesome. Yes. Uh, happy birthday to everyone that had a birthday this week. Uh, we have Captain Andy Pocalypse, uh, MCO122, uh, Geeky Soldier, uh, Longbow236, and Dire Witch. Uh, happy birthday to all you guys. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday, guys. Hope you all had a great day. Right. And I'm still uh, working on getting... All right. Let me go on and talk about some more Armada news. Uh, let's see. Priority 1 Armada Fleet and Priority 1 Beta Fleet are now at level 81. Uh, and Priority 1 Gamma right behind them at level 80. Wow. I didn't even realize they were going that high. Is that because of the colony? Uh, yeah, the the new max level is 85. Wow. Since wow. the addition of the colony. And um, yeah, like you said, uh, uh, Priority 1 Alpha and Beta fleets are currently 81. So only four more levels. Basically all the Tier 5 upgrades. And um, Gamma is currently at level 80. So they're right behind them. Very cool. And hey, Priority 1 Ferengi Alliance fleet just reached level 50. Way to go, everyone there. Uh, that fleet, we only have 34 uh, Ferengis in that fleet. Uh, but if you're interested in joining the Priority 1 Ferengi Alliance fleet, uh, you must hold the rank of captain in any of our Fed or KDF fleets. And then you can apply for your Ferengi business license on the Armada website. And once you do that, then you'll be able to join the Ferengi Alliance. It's pretty cool. Yes, you definitely um, yes. want to do that. It, there's a number of perks for joining the Priority One Ferengi Alliance. So, for example, um, you have instant access to all fleet stores. So there's no, uh, you know, waiting to get promoted and then get access. It's straight away. The second you join the fleet, you get instant access to all fleet stores. Uh, the other uh, benefit then is the requirements for promotions. Uh, at all levels is between 25 and 30 percent less compared to all the other fleets so it's a little bit easier to get promoted up to uh, higher ranks in the fleet and uh, all the ranks are uh, business themed as well which uh, just adds to a little bit of fun in it um i love it i, uh, I think it's really i fun. know I love the Ferengi fleet. I made my own Mayhar do <laughs> to burn my, burn my um, Mora acquiring character yeah, nice. in the Ferengi Alliance. I've uh, got but, to do that. Yeah, it's so cool. Well, anyway, um, also House of Martok, yeah, uh, it's level 79. And House of Moog, man, all of our KDF fleets are so awesome. Uh, they are coming right behind House of Martok, even at level 74. Mm -hmm. House of Grilka, we're working on that. It's doing amazing. Everyone's just filling those projects. It's crazy. I've been trying to fill projects, and they're already filled. Um, so we just got that one online in June, and it's already at level 44. So well done, House of Grilka members. Way yeah. to go. Well done, indeed. Fantastic progress being made everywhere in the Armada. Yeah, so let's see. We've got uh, Xbox Priority One, Xbox Fed. They are upgrading their Starbase. Oh, their Starbase 4 is on cooldown until Wednesday. Uh, the KDF side, no major projects, but several transwarp conduits being constructed. That's always uh, handy. Yep. Um, all their holdings are at Tier 1 except the Starbase, which is Tier 2. They got Morn and the Dancing Girls at the Starbase. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That seems like you must do that. Um, <laughs> let's see. The Priority One, Xbox Fed, KDF. Oh, they do have trivia every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern uh, time, and you get prizes for first and second place. Oh, wow. Awesome. Uh, thanks for taking care of that, Kat. And uh, yep. listen, well done to everybody in all the fleets because there has been amazing progress being made uh, throughout both the Federation and the Klingon Armada. Um, so well done to everybody um, on the PC side and indeed on the uh, console side of things as well. Uh, doing really, really well there, it seems. Um, it's got a lot of upgrades going on at the moment. Yeah, oh. well done, everybody. Yes, well yep. done. Okay, so we will give out the second prize now, uh, since I should have done it earlier. And it is for another Accelerated Officer Training Pack. And the winner this time is J.F. Travis. Congratulations, J.F. Travis. Um, Congrats. Yeah, you Congrats. have won an Accelerated Officer Training Pack. So please contact me and let me know what your in-game at handle is. Because we need to know that in order to send you your prize at the end of the show. So please do not forget to contact me and uh, let me know those details. So well done again. Um, right, uh, Kat, you took care of 
that part of the Armada news. Uh, the next part, or the next thing, excuse me. <coughs> wow, I'm dying over here. Okay, don't die. Um, <laughs> Please don't. The next thing that we want to do is we want to mention uh, one member out of the entire Armada and give a very special and sincere thank you to Vice Admiral Nikki for her recent uh, donation that she made to the Priority One Armada website. Without members like Vice Admiral Nikki, there is no way that we would be able to keep the lights on here for Priority One Armada or the Twitch stream or anything. So we really, really do appreciate uh, the support that we get from members like Nikki and uh, want to thank her so much for her donation and her continued support. So thank you, Nikki, so very much. Thank you so much, Nikki. That was so awesome. Thank you. Um, right, before we wrap up, we want to let you guys know that we are looking for additional support staff for the show. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but we have a number of uh, support staff that help with the advertising of the, sh the show every single week. Uh, these are the guys that are working in the shadows, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, they're the guys that don't get any of the glory. Um, we have um, Vice Admiral Sean, we have um, uh, Captain uh, Salakner, or Mark, and uh, then we have um, Lieutenant General uh, Vangta. And those guys post out messages in-game through the different social zones in zone chat. They put out social media messages, stuff like that. And... Um, they really do a fantastic job at advertising the show. And um, like some of you here tonight, you are here for the very first time because you've probably seen one of the advertisements in Zone Chat. Uh, so we're looking for more people who are willing to help out in that regard. If you are interested uh, in joining the uh, off-air team, that's, that's what we call it, the off-air team, because like I said, they work kind of in the shadows. Um, uh, if you're interested in joining the team, uh, click on the join the team button down below at the bottom of Twitch and uh, that'll take you to a form and you can submit a form and we'll do a little interview with you just to get to know you and um, yeah, we'll just take it from there. But uh, if anybody's interested and you all know, wants to uh, help out with the production uh, in that regard, we would really, really appreciate it because um, many hands make light work. I've heard that a couple times this week. <laughs> yes, uh, it it is one of my favorite sayings. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, <laughs> but it's true though. It is true. So the more people that help out, man, it just yeah is less for everyone. Yeah, indeed, definitely, because um, uh, it's it's kind of well, it oh, we'll say for uh, hosting, for example, we have a nice little team for hosting where the same people are not on every single week. Uh, so basically you're on for one or two weeks at a time and then you have like two or three weeks off, you know, and uh, that way nobody gets burnt out and that way we can keep on bringing you uh, a show every week and you can earn reputation marks and dilithium and XP and win prizes and all that other sort of stuff, uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, that wraps up the round table for this week. So... I guess it's time for uh, PVE queues. Um, what do you think, yeah. guys? Yes. Good. Right. So we're not actually going to put teams together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we're not going to put teams together. What we're going to do is we're all going to queue up for the same mission at the same time. And we all just jump in and we're going to take like five or six instances of the same mission. Um, so... What say we start off with the event that is currently going on at the moment, which is the breach, which should take about seven or eight minutes. What do you think about that? That sounds good. Sounds right. good. No, I, I do need to switch characters. Yep, no problem. Uh, will we do it on normal? 
normal difficulty, yeah, or advanced? Yeah, normal's fine. Right, normal's fine. Okay, so I every- mean, you still get like a cabillion marks if it's your first time running. For right, yeah, marks. <laughs> you nearly get two hundred uh, with the bonus marks that's going on. So everybody, queue up for the uh, breach event right now. Do a normal difficulty, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, get that um, rolling here now as soon as possible. Um, for anyone that's interested as well, um, I will show you, uh, the correct way of doing this mission, um, like right now, once we get into the queue, uh, cause like everything, there is a right way and there is a wrong way and it's not an opinion, it's the right way. And I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> I like it. Not a- <laughs> Uh, so, um, right, what's going to happen here in approximately 30 seconds, you see there's a 30 second timer there, uh, we will begin to start moving down this trench of the Citadel. And as we move along there, there's going to be hard points, what they call hard points, that you can target and destroy. Ignore all that crap. Absolutely pointless, okay? Your main objective is actually to get to the end of the course. Because regardless of how many of those things you have blown up, once you get to the end of the course, everybody gets instantly transported to the end of the course. So the point of the hard points is actually to slow you down, to extend the length of the queue. And you'll see uh, here and now in a minute, uh, once I get to the end of the trench, what will happen. Um, so yeah, that's, that's your objective. Ignore everything. I always stay in the top right-hand corner and um, uh, just move along there. It's the best chance of avoiding combat. And uh, look, I'm already halfway through this thing already. And everybody else, look, they're all back there. They're fighting. They're blowing up stuff. But I'm way down here. Um, so, yeah, the point of those hard points is I actually... I thought you got bonuses or whatever nope. from doing those. No? Nope. Well, no, 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 you're right. You can get a bonus to them. Uh, as in, you will get a few extra marks. But, well, it's not worth it, in my opinion. I'd, I'd much rather get the queue over and done with. I kind of am on if, board if, with that. <laughs> if, if you're doing the elite version, you can't do this. You have to do, you have to uh, blow up 100% of them. But normally what happens is, even if you are trying to blow up uh, as many of them as you possibly can, uh, you will actually get to the end of the course before you get 100%. Um, and you'll see now what I mean here once I get to the very end. I mean, look here. Assault exterior, 22% complete, at least in the instance that I'm in. It's only 22% complete. And I'm at the end of the course here now already, pretty much. 23%. There's the guys on my minimap. See them? All right. So, watch what happens here now when I get to this uh, doorway. Get the pop-up, and we'll wait. Look up here at the minimap. There's one. You'll see them all start popping in here. Look at them. And they're firing. So, see, as soon as you get here, it instantly starts transporting the rest of them to this location. And they weren't even halfway through the... Um, the course. Right, so we go into the citadel. We go down the tunnel. The tunnel of love. That's what these ships are called? Citadels? I think they're citadels. City ships? City ships, yeah. yeah that makes citadels, sense. Citadels, I, I think. I could be wrong. It, it, it adds know, up big, in my head. Big old ship. <laughs> big old ship. That's yeah. what I call it. It, it, it adds up in my head, so yeah, that's, as long as it makes sense there, I don't care. Uh, so yeah, when you get inside, uh, there will be three Federation ships that are um, coming under attack, and you have to rescue them. Uh, I just rescued this guy here, see? That guy there. Um, you can see here in our objectives, we've already got two of them done already and um, 
that helps you get more bonus marks uh, at the end of the mission as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here now and I'm going to um, try and rescue this third one. We'll get rid of these guys. So this would be your first objective once you do get in here because those ships ain't going to last long uh, otherwise. And yes, we got all three. Okay, so next part is to uh, try and find a power core in these power relays. And if you look... Alright, so they've found the proper core here. See, it says sub-power core. Alright, that means it's the correct power core. But... I'll try and uh, get this one working, actually. Um, you can open up these power relays, and there, there's a chance that there can be a decoy power core inside them. And the way you know if it's a decoy is whether or not it has a, a question mark at the end of the name. If it has a question mark at the end of uh, power core, it's a decoy. And... Uh, Hopefully, it'll work this time. Uh, no power core there. Let's move on. We'll try this one. Nope. Oh, dang it. I found the right one again. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed those have been coming up less lately, it seems like, in these. Just lucky, like, I guess. You... Yeah, I don't know. Where you'll open it and nothing will be in there. Oh, I see uh, Kukolin74 has joined us. Uh, he said, uh, sorry guys, I'm late. Uh, yeah, welcome to the show, man. Glad you can make it. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, indeed. Welcome. One of the legends of Priority One Armada, Shane at Kukolin74. Um, and we've got, we've got plenty of legends uh, in the Armada. Damn it, I found the right core again. And I want to show the, the wrong core. I really want to show the wrong core to, to uh, you guys. Uh, right, there. See how this one has the question mark at the end? If you fire on that, you are going to take damage. Okay? So, stay the hell away from those power cores. If it has a question mark. If it doesn't, unleash hell. Otherwise, ignore it. And they're there to waste time to keep you in here longer. Anyway, now we're going into the main power core. Uh, or the central power core is probably what I should call it, because that's what it is. It's the central power core. And, um... Yeah, you just, you know, unleash hell on this thing as well. Uh, buff up as much as you can. And, um... Now, is it correct, if you use your gravity well, that you're going to make the thing close faster? Could you say that again? So if you use your gravity well on that core, does it make the columns close faster? Because it seems like that is something that happens. Uh, that's news to me. Um, oh. Okay, maybe I'm just crazy. And no, I think uh, well, that... <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I know. I, I'm just saying that it, it's, you know, it's, it's something that I didn't know. I, I don't know if it's true or not. Um, so, yeah, it, don't, don't, uh, don't take me up wrong there that... It, um, it's uh, incorrect because you could be right. Yeah, it just seems like every, if you use your gravity well against it, and I use my gravity well a lot, but I've noticed when it happens, it closes like right then. So I'm thinking right. maybe you shouldn't use your gravity well on that core. Right, right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Could could very well be. I don't use gravity wells all that often because, you know, I'm in the Wolverine, which is a Defiant Clash ship. So, um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway... Uh, at this stage, we just have to come out the way we came in, and uh, that's the end of the mission. Um, yeah. Let off some fireworks in celebration of a successful mission. Hey, looks like everybody got out. Good stuff. Excellent. Alright. Should have a fairly decent uh, reward for this one. So, what will I pick? I think I'll pick Dyson. 
Uh, Dice and where are you? There we go. Yeah, 181 marks I got. Uh, and nice. seven fleet marks. Pretty sweet. Very cool. Um, right. Exist. How are you guys coming along? Are you near the end of your uh, We're exiting right now. Oh, we fantastic. are just getting the core done. Fantastic. Right, uh, let's see what we will do next. Um, want something quick and fast um, that gives good reward. Crystalline Catastrophe Advanced. A good one. Yeah. Uh, so when you get out of that mission, uh, queue up for Crystalline Catastrophe Advanced. And uh, we'll get a run of that going and uh, pick up some... Chris, um, well, whatever you want, crystalline marks or uh, fleet marks and uh, some dilithium and some XP. Well done, uh, JF Travis. Well done. Um... War worry sop, I think it's worry sop. Uh, if I open up the map here and we go to galaxy map, uh, so Dr Drazona Station is in the beta quadrant. It's down here where, uh, see where Deep Space K Seven is, or the Federation Fleet Starbase. This is Drazona Station. That's where we're all hanging out right now. So uh, yeah, you can actually come to us now in game and um, meet up with us in uh, Drazona Station. That's where the party is. Um, and that's how you get to it. Just come into uh, the beta quadrant and basically head south, and you, sh you should find it. Um, you should see it on the map pretty easily. No, no, if you have transwarped K7 unlocked, you can transwarp to K7, and uh, then just shoot across to uh, Drazona, but unless you have that unlocked, uh, you won't be able to do it. Dang, I ran into a wall. It's oh terrible. no. <laughs> Do you know what happened to me once uh, in the breach? I was on my way out. I got caught on a corner and I ended up inside the citadel. Like, yeah. behind the walls. And I couldn't oh, get no. out. I <laughs> couldn't get out. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I ended up lo dying inside and losing X amount of marks because of it. And uh, it's horrible. Had nightmares. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun when you get trapped in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo, I think I was the last person out. <laughs> I'm always the last person out on that one because I get stuck on the walls. Got to work on your piloting abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow. That was not expecting that. I died it. Right, bro. I also got 181 marks. Well done. Well done. Good stuff. No, I haven't. Go ahead, Jason. I haven't been on uh, that much with TeamSpeak. Um... Earlier this month, uh, of course, we had Brown Reynolds passing away, and I was just wondering what your all's thoughts about that. About what? About Burnt, about Burnt Reynolds passing. Uh, well, I watched Smokey and the Bandit last night uh, in honor of Burt because I love that movie. So good. Oh, I did too. I haven't seen uh, any of his movies in a long time, actually. Um, I probably should go back and watch one or two of his movies. Oh, man. Classic. Smoking the Bandit. Yes. So... Well, I heard, I heard, uh, I've read something somewhere that they're actually planning on bringing out into the theaters the Smoking the Bandit uh, movie. All right. In the honor of him passing away, so. All right. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, he's in some really great movies. I mean, 
His performance in Boogie Nights, come on, that was fantastic. Yes, I mean, it, it was it was kind of sad when I first read about it, and I'm like, oh, wow. You know, it's, there's some that I didn't like. I mean, I wasn't real fancy when he played Boss Hogg in the Dukes of Hazzard's movie, but, you know, other than that, I've enjoyed his movies all throughout his career. Um, congrats to Baron Von Zolo on getting first place. Well done. Um, Way to go. Uh, do, 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 do. Who was it? Um, Shri Haddon asks, how do you unlock that? I'm assuming you're referring to how do you unlock the transwarp to K7. Uh, you have to build up your commendation in, the, in diplomacy to unlock it. Uh, so when you do duty officer missions, uh, part of the reward will be commendation XP. So in the case of this one that I've got highlighted here, I get 494 commendation XP, and you can see here it's for trade, okay? So that's trade XP. And when that mission completes, it gets added on here uh, to my commendation. And as I build up XP, I level up into the different ranks, and each rank rewards something. Well, rank two of diplomacy unlocks a free transwarp to Deep Space K7. Uh, so that's 15,000 XP altogether. So that's how you, how you unlock that. Um, right, uh, next queue. Uh, let's, let's, we do a roaming the minefield for some reason, it's just jumped into my head. Sure, is that the ground? No, it's a space one. Remember the revamped oh. Romulan Minefield? Uh, yeah, I think I've only played it once, though. Yeah, it's a good mission. Okay. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll... Just normal? Yeah, there's only one difficulty for it, so I was like, yeah, let's just oh. do that. Okay. I'm going to switch to a fed. Not that it matters, but... <laughs> No, there's uh, so Warisop asks. So you took out the Borg PV missions and the Transwarp Gate. Yeah, been out for a while. Is there an updated version coming within the next two seasons? Uh, the Borg missions aren't taken out. Um, uh, Borg missions are still in the game. In fact, we'll probably do Infected Conduit uh, here, maybe even after this mission. Um, so yeah, all the Borg stuff is still there. Um, uh, what's different is um, the transwarp location where you meant where you went to meet up with Task Force Omega. That's a step that they took out that you just don't need to do anymore. Um, and yeah, so I, I'm not sure what you're wondering is going to come within the next two seasons, because yeah, the Borg stuff is still in the game. Oh, wait. What are we supposed to do in this? <laughs> Robbing the minefield. Just blow stuff uh, up. Oh, okay. I can do that. Yep. <laughs> oh, I love flying through explosions. You love flying through the explosions? Oh, yeah. I, I have this habit of always blowing something up at the second I'm about to run into it and then it explodes. Um, very defiant. What are you flying, Jason? I am flying the the ship from the summer event. I, oh, nice! That carrier, yes. the Vorgon carrier. Yes. Oh, I never want to see a Vorgon ship again in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the visuals you get with those. They look all stripey. <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm flying it to go ahead and finish the mastery up on it, so that way I can get it done and out of my way. Well, that's cool. This character is flying a vengeance. Oh, good ship. You know, I, for a big ship that's a carrier, yes, it's like, I think it's my favorite, because it the turn rate is excellent. Uh, this ship's not really that bad. I mean, it's 
it's got its pros and its cons, but I, I like it. But it's it's not my fleet tier six dreadnought cruiser, so <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up to get these masteries done so I can go back to my favorite ship. Uh, Worry Sop says, and I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, dude. Um, yeah, the mission uh, with the transport gate. I'm assuming you're talking about infected the conduit. Like I said, we'll probably do that after this mission because uh, that's a fairly popular queue. Uh, but yeah, th there's been no Borg uh, PBQs or task force operations uh, taken out of the game. So, yeah, you're blind. <laughs> and um, uh, Shri Haddon says, "Cool, I gotta put my duty officers back to work." Um, I strongly recommend that you get your diplomacy up to rank 4 because rank 4 diplomacy unlocks uh, transwarp to Deep Space Nine and uh, rank 3 unlocks a transwarp to Starbase 3 er, 3 uh, Sierra 3 Niner um, as well uh, so in my opinion diplomacy is the most important one because it unlocks so many free transwarp locations for you um, which is very useful. In fact, I've got guides on my YouTube channel, um, uh, uh, which is Winter's Gaming, uh, on all that sort of stuff. There's all sorts of tips and tricks and uh, uh, things that you might find useful. In fact, I just finished a let's uh, not a let's play series, uh, a system series on Star Trek Online, which covered all the main systems for the game and. Uh, not only new players to the game, but there was even veterans that were saying, you know, wow, I, I've been playing for the last six years and I never knew X, Y, or Z. And, you know, they were learning new stuff that they never knew was in the game. So, um, yeah, I can very strongly recommend uh, that series to, like, anybody. Um, could be very, very useful. I recommend it. I find it extremely helpful. And it, But it's funny you said that. Uh, I was just talking to um, a returning player who I guess he took like four years off and he said he um, joined the fleet and saw your videos and just really thought they were really helpful for him because he felt really overwhelmed and lost and didn't know what was going on in the game. Oh, wow. Fantastic. So, yeah. Way to help people. Yeah, no, thanks so many. I really appreciate it. Because uh, that that was my goal. Um, you know, there's loads of people that have done um, Let's Plays and videos on Star Trek Online. But the problem is, the stuff is all so old. And so many different things have changed. And um, uh, some of them, you know, will say the Let's Plays then are uh, story-driven. Where, you know, the host reads out the text and they go through everything. And sort of the gameplay and the mechanics are not included in it. So that's why I decided I was like, right, okay, I'm going to get something that's, or I'm going to do something that's going to help players play better, you know? Um, that was the whole point of it. So, yeah, I've been getting great feedback from it from so many different people, um, veterans and new players to the game. It's just been brilliant. Um, I've, I've, I have found them very helpful. I mean, I, I actually follow you, so anytime and every time you send one out, I get a little notification. So as soon as I see it, I go and check it out and have found a lot of that extremely useful for awesome. me. Awesome. That is fantastic. And I see uh, Kari Kanya. Oh, God, I... Oh. I, I hate butchering people's names, but they said, uh, yeah, I found those videos very helpful. I live by them. Thanks. Thanks a million. I really appreciate the support. That uh, really, really means a lot to me. Thanks so, thanks so much, man. Because um, I'm only starting off with uh, this YouTube channel, so um, it, it, it's very hard to get started in it because, you know, people tend to stick with who or what they know. Uh, you know, as in YouTubers, and I'm trying to get into YouTubing, and it, it's uh, a very difficult thing to get into. But uh, I got some really, really great loyal subscribers, and people are finding it very useful, so I'm happy for that. Oh, yeah, Cyber Magi says also found it very helpful, so very well. Oh, and Hicks45146 uh, would like a link. Yeah, uh, I'll dig up a link. Ooh, I got third place. Excellent. Nice. We also have links on our website, PriorityOneArmada.com. We do indeed. Um, There's all kinds of cool stuff on the website. Let me yes. dig up a link for you here. I'll put it into the Twitch chat right now. Uh, I can depart the system, though, and I'm waiting for that to load. Oh, 
Oh man, that bridge was on cooldown. Boo. <laughs> but hey, I got the marks anyway. There you go. That's the link to uh, my YouTube channel. Um, YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash Winters Gaming. And uh, yeah, you can um, see the system series. I've got a Let's Play series. The Let's <coughs> the last Let's Play series I done for Star Trek Online was actually a pretty good one because I done that on a completely, you know, a brand new free to play account. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do was demonstrate how to play the game as a free to play player without spending a dime on the game. And that character has got like almost a million dilithium now saved up and has bought a couple of things through the C store with only dilithium. I haven't spent a penny on him. And, uh, you know, he's flying a T6 ship and he's got, um, he's got uh, his gear up to Mark 15 and everything, you know? So, um, yeah, that was a pretty good uh, series. I'm actually working on a new Let's Play series that I'm going to start releasing uh, in the not too distant future. Um, it's going to be different from the last one. Um, the last one was fed tactical and this one's going to be different. Um, Exciting. Awesome. Thanks guys for anyone who just uh, su subscribed to the channel. Really, really appreciate that. Um, that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Really, Very really nice. do appreciate uh, support. Yes. What are we going to run now? Um, yeah, we'll just have to get out here ourselves. Uh, how about an infected conduit advanced? Um, pretty popular queue. Sure. Yeah. Let me make sure. I'm switching characters, so I'm yep. going to make sure I have my skills that where I want them. The my main tune, I'm trying to, I'm still working on him. I want to get him to a certain point, so... It's still a work in progress for my main tune, and then gotta make a choice of who I want to go to next. KDF. Most likely, you're right on that. Man, I find that I play my K like most. You know, I have a lot of characters, and I think I just really enjoy playing my KDF ones more than the others. Uh, Knuckles314 says, uh, Heck, Winters, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. I just had to subscribe, so thanks for letting you, dude. <laughs> nice. Oh, I guess we have a few returning players that haven't been around in a while. That's yeah, awesome. But, no, we do. I, I, I see it every week because um, I handle all the applications on the website. And, I, I you know, I, I, I see so many people, you know, that. Some, some of them will leave a little message on their applications like, hey, returning player, or hey, I was in a dead fleet and looking for an active fleet, and you know, or whatever. And uh, there's a lot of people who are like, hey, I've, I, I started playing a beta, but then I give it up and I came back every now and then, and I'm now I'm back for good and looking for a fleet. And yeah, it's, it's, I, I see it all the time. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think it's great. I at least there's, you know, lots of things for people to catch up on, too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, I was talking about Josh earlier on. Josh took a break, what, well, a year, maybe two years away from the game. And he's come back now and, like, everything's outdated. And he's inundated, like, because he has so many characters. And um, he's, he, he just doesn't know where to start. Because he's it got so much stuff to do. I did that the other day, and I logged into another game that I haven't been in on in a while. Yes, and it, I remember yeah. you talking about that. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes I play Never Winner, you know, because... That was so forms. funny, because the way you described it was like, I went in, and there was so much stuff, and I logged straight back out again. <laughs> I was just like, there's no way I could ever do all this stuff so it, it's really overwhelming so that's why i like your videos too because you're like okay let's just take a step back and also you know your f other fleet members if you're stuck on something and you're just like oh my god what do i do just ask yeah you know i did the same thing a couple of weeks ago i ended up talking to a friend of mine from another game i played for about four years and he asked me to come back to his crew, and I was like, all right. I, I haven't even been back on the game in probably two weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, 
you can burn out on games. Believe me, I know. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm, I'm kind of going through a little bit of a burnout phase now on Star Trek Online myself. Um, but I can feel myself burning out. And what I do, and I know I've said this to you guys before, um, I cut back my time on store. So typically what I do is I log in, I look after my admin responsibilities, you know, make sure promotions and all that sort of stuff is done, you know. And uh, then I'll log out and I might play some Assassin's Creed or I might play some Batman Arkham or, you know, what, whatever. doesn't matter. The point is that, you know, uh, that I'm, I'm, I focus my time elsewhere. And, um, uh, you know, then I come back to the game. And after about a month, you know, I'm, I've, I've got the hunger for Star Trek Online again, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's what I... I tried to do on that other game, but, you know, I, I had a moment, and I might go back to it, because, you know, again, unicorns, but... Um, yeah, see, I wouldn't be able to take up another MMO. Um, I I typically go for, um, I don't know, how would you describe them? Standalone games? Would that be the, how yeah, you describe them? Yeah, I think that's... Uh, yeah. Well, or at least where you can <sighs> have an end... End in sight. You complete it. Right. And there's, there, there's a, there's a, a story. Point to it. <laughs> yeah. There's a story, and that's it. You know, you, you just finish out the game, and that's it. The game is finished. Um, I, I play a lot of those types of games. Um, I, I think I'm the same way when it comes down because I'll I'll jump around with the games that I have on my computer. Of course, you know, Command and Conquer comes one of them, and then oh, you wow, know, going back in time now. Yes. Oh, I used to love uh, Command and Conquer. Well, I like going on to zero hour and just blowing everything up. You know, just drop a bunch of nukes or scud missiles onto someone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and also sometimes to make it fresh, you know, I'll like play a character that I haven't logged into in a while and remember, oh man, I set this character up really cool. I forgot how I did all that. So that can help, I guess, make it not so grindy and burnout, <laughs> reach burnout status. I mean, I went and tried out Neverwinter. I mean, it, it, I had to see what it was all about. But Well, I like it. But again, I've just, you know, I hadn't been on. It had been a year. So I really was behind. And I, yeah. And I have a bunch of characters on, over there. But I was just like, wow, I, I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> um, just to jump in here, guys. Uh, I, I think I got this name right. Po Post Twist. Uh, says they are a long-term free-to-play player, been playing since 2012 off and on, I'm willing to learn new stuff, uh, I need to learn things and get into game better and a fleet that can help. I do have a number of fleets my characters are in. Uh, if you're interested to join the Priority One Armada, go to PriorityOneArmada.com, you can submit an application there. We've got, uh, God, what is it, 10 fleets now, I want to say? Um, oh, on the fate. I'm not even sure. A full, we have a full armada. That's yeah. what we have yeah, on both sides. <laughs> we've got a fed armada. We got a KDF armada, and um, uh, yeah, we're active. We've got some fantastic members. If you need help with anything, everyone's very friendly. Uh, so you can put an application in on the website, and um, you can join with as many characters as you want. Uh, we do regular. Uh, competitions and giveaways and seasonal events um, for all of our members so um, yeah if you're interested what, what I usually say to people is look at you have nothing to lose give it a shot if you don't like it you can leave and no hard feelings but I'm so confident that you're going to love it you're going to stay and you're going to stay with all your characters that's how confident I am because it is it really is everyone is so friendly and helpful there's a very yes. good strong sense of community within priority one armada yeah i hear a lot of people that switch from other fleets that the fleet they're in just quit being active and as mm -hmm. long as i've been in this game this fleet has always been active so right right, right. Yeah. yeah exactly and yeah everyone's very nice very welcoming you know, being a, a girl, if you didn't notice, it's kind of <laughs> overwhelming sometimes if you're in team speak to come in with a bunch of dudes. Uh, but these guys are all really nice and friendly. And, uh, it did I take was, a while for you I to know. come on. But oh, absolutely. I, I, was, I, I think I coached because, you. 
Yeah, you did, but that's because I never played. This is the first like game that I ever really played. So right, right. MMO, I never like... did chat. Yeah, I never did chatting or any of that. So I was like, oh my god, who are these weirdos uh, <laughs> playing this game? Uh, but then, yeah, everyone was just really cool. Yeah, yeah. No, we've we've got some fantastic <laughs> members. Um, really, really do. Yes, I mean, I I, I looked it up was looking for a fleet when I first started playing and uh, I mean I was looking for somebody someone that had TeamSpeak or Discord or whatever to where I can talk to somebody to help me do what I needed to do and sure enough I mean Priority One has been awesome it's been great uh, everybody's oh, yeah. been real good for everything I think so. And sometimes, you know, if you're trying to get a question answered in, in chat or like in the game chat, it's really hard to explain stuff sometimes. It's just easier to talk to people when they can walk you right. through it. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely voice mixing is much, much easier. Uh, yes. Just real quick, guys. Uh, what do you want to do next? Um, any uh, suggestions? Uh, requests? Uh, or... Sorry, what was that, Cat? We should do a ground uh, STF. Oh, okay. Uh, like oh, actually, the big dig? Yeah, we we'll got that. But I think I'm still queued up for infected the conduit. That never actually happened. Oh, did not? Uh, I'm just, we're just finished our... Okay, Bulk well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unqueue for that if we're going to do something else. Bulk we're getting hunt? close to finish. Bulk hunt? No, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, I was gonna trying ask the to same ignore thing. you. <laughs> okay, Big Dig. It's a 20 man. Yeah, we could do Big Dig. All right. All right. Everybody Everyone. queue up for a Big Dig. This might take a minute because some people might still be in Infected Conduit, but everybody queue up for Big Dig right now or finish up your queue as quickly as you can and go for Big Dig. Uh, this is a good queue. This is, uh, is that the one with the pyramid? It is indeed, yes, yes, okay. yes. It is. All right. Oh, I like this one. Uh, JF Travis, yes, I did get your message if you're talking about um, your in-game at handle. I did get it indeed. So, yeah, nothing to worry about there, dude. Oh, oh man, wow. it already hit. Wow, that is fantastic. Oh, man. I'm not in there. Oh, no. There's still time. Still it looks like the... there's still three places left. Yeah, we're still doing the tactical cube. I thought it was almost over for us, but... Uh, Kroll wants to know what's wrong with Bug Hunt Cat. Uh, <laughs> I just hate, don't like it. I hate that Van Devender guy. He always dies. Uh, yeah, it just, and then I, I get, well, because we played it on Elite, and then I get injured, and then, you know, it just die a lot. <laughs> it's really hard. It's, it's a hard ground cue, I think. The stupid bugs. <laughs> anyway, that Van Devender guy, whatever his name is, he drives me nuts. Because he always dies at the end, and you can't protect him <laughs> enough. Okay, it's a uh, pop guy, so everybody hit accept, and we'll jump in here. Remember Shut up, you, Rikers. Oh, you, my God. If you haven't queued up for Big Dig, do it now. Yeah, we're going in. Woohoo! This is how I imagine it would be like uh, walking on the moon with such low gravity, <laughs> making these incredible jumps. Oh, I'm in my suit. I need to change to combat gear. Uh, oh, you know what I have on this character? Throwing knives. Oh, throwing yeah. knives, yeah. These are like my new favorite weapons on the ground. Dang, nabbit. Oh, uh, gambling device. I forgot about that. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? Ah, I lost. <laughs> you all will die. I cannot see who wrote that. This crawl. Pretty sure Riker is one of those dudes that made it difficult for Cat to start and chat in the beginning. Yeah, see, Riker's always got. 
good thing that you know I like you. So <laughs> otherwise, between Rikers and James, be... I mean, the two of them are pretty. <laughs> well, all right, you have a point there. What was that? Hmm. All right, okay. But yeah, I remember when you joined Cat and uh, you were sending me mails and you were finding it hard to get fleet credits and I was trying to reassure you. I was like, you know, just give it a bit of time. You'll get there and look at you now. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It was, man, it's intimidating at first, especially because, uh, you know, I was challenged being left-handed trying to work out game controls. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on forgetting that you're a Kithog. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I had a rough start. <laughs> Who dares fire at me? By Grethor's hammer, you will be yeah. avenged. <laughs> awesome. We were talking about that movie the other day. Hey, there's <laughs> yeah. Slimu is over here. That's cool. What's up? Fantastic. Excellent. <laughs> I actually watched that movie uh, not too long ago. Um, Galaxy so Quest. So good. Yeah, so it, good. it really, really is. Hey, guys. The same. There's a problem with the, um, the flux capacitor and kind of sounds kind of serious. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's Alex. Really? I don't see him. Uh, oh, yeah, you're on my team, Winters. Yeah. Oh, I'm right behind you. Throwing knives at people. Haha. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What am I doing going to... I need to go down here again. I forgot about this. Right, let's, let's go this way. Oh, we have a rally point? <laughs> yep, we do. We have to start doing the next phase of this thing. I have actually started watching a TV show called Chicago PD. See you, Care Bear Cannon. Have a good night, dude. He's uh, taking off there, guys. He just wants to. Oh, see ya. Good night. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, hey, Knuckles is left-handed, too. Well done. <laughs> I like to do that at work, too, so no one will use my computer because they can't use the mouse. <laughs> you what? <laughs> so no one at work can try and use my computer. Not that they would, but if they did, they couldn't because I am left-handed, so everything's backwards. Oh, I nearly made the jump. Uh. So you actually set up your computer differently for left-handers, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I had tried that with my son because he's left-handed, too. And, yeah, I get confused when I'm... Left-handed mouse, and uh, when for my game controls, I use my number pad to move around. I never even knew you could use those. Oh, uh, you can set your keybinds to it. I had to figure that out. Good night, Drunk Flux. Have a good night, dude. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I totally had to read the way his name was spelled because that did not sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Where are all these guys? Am I in the wrong spot? You have to go through the different tiers, so you might be just at the wrong tier of the uh, pyramid. Oh, okay, I see him. Hold on. I'm just... Unfortunately, I did not make it in in time. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, it is. 
Uh, what do we do next? We do a Brotherhood of the Sword next? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah? Okay. That'll be our yeah. next one. I just died. Man, if you could jump like this for real. Man, I'd be going, hiya! So often. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fun. <laughs> I like because you don't at need the, an environmental At the superstore arriving at the checkout, hi And then landing out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, nice. One of our uh, new members at VT Shadow... Uh, is also left-handed and plays guitar left-handed. Very cool, like Paul McCartney. What the hell just hit me? Jesus. Yeah, ah! someone brought their dinosaur out, and it's shooting lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Second place. Nice. Are we supposed to beam back to camp? Um, no, you can you can just leave. Um, oh, never mind. Congrats, Major Flack and uh, Shane, or Ku Colin seventy four. Congrats, guys, well done. And Josh, oh, Mister No, yeah, twenty two. Rikers got third place. Uh, second place along with me. Come on, guys, who took first? Who took first? <laughs> uh, right, we leave this queue. Okay, so uh, next we are going to do. Brotherhood of the Sword Elite? Yeah? We go yeah. with Elite? Okay. Yeah. We'll go with Elite, because uh, that's a pretty um, pretty simple cue to do. Um, right, where are you? Brotherhood of the Sword Elite. And everyone queue up for that right now. Kuda Kintan got first place. Congrats, man. Well done. Oh, nice. Well done. Wait. Kuda Katan. I think that would be more how you pronounce it. Yeah, well done. Congratulations. It's a stupid game anyway. I've always said it. <laughs> well, I wasn't waiting long for that one to uh, pop up. Oh, I'm in here with Alex and Rikers. Nice. Oh, and Kuda Katan. That... Who is also in here? I love it. Pink. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be red. <laughs> Looks pink. <laughs> I'm just loading up now. And I'm waiting for a two pop. Need two more. Sure you know, get there. throwing knives at these uh, Iconian guys is kind of satisfying. Ah, oh, I meant to change my specializations. Nah. Oh, well. No matter. Not the end of the world. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get a speed run going, guys. Maybe knives don't work so well against Iconians when they gang up on, when they gang up on you. I'm going to switch <laughs> weapons. So, uh, the first stage of this mission, guys, uh, the Iconians that appear are there to waste your time. Okay? Ignore them. Go for the consoles. That's what you want to do. That's the objective. All right, there's no secondary objectives. Because uh, once you clear them, and then you activate the consoles, more will just appear anyway. So you could be here forever in a day. So just go for the consoles in stage one.
I got one of them. Somebody, maybe, no? Ah, I'm gonna try again. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're on to stage two. So, stage two, you have two secondary objectives. Uh, they are not optional objectives, they are secondary, uh, but uh, you have to complete them. One is to assist the honor guard, and two is to rescue the fire team. Do not activate the console until both of those objectives are complete, because remember, we're doing this on Elite. Okay, there's the Honor Guard Assisters, making my way over to the fire team. I think they're done. Are they done? No. There we go. Alright. Alright, they're making their way, so now we can start taking out some Iconians. And the fire team is rescued. Activating console now. What the hell? Okay, I think we got it this time. Maybe, perhaps, no. Dang it. Alright, we'll try again. Same thing again, the Iconians at this stage are just there to distract you. Alright, I'm pushing the button on one of mine, Alex or Rikers. Oh, right. Guess that worked. Nope. Maybe not. Yep. I always like how the Targs take down that other Iconian guy if there are any running around. <clears throat> Dang it. Okay, come on, guys. We can get this. We can get this. Need someone to activate the console. Right, that's the end of that queue. Uh, I'm gonna pick fleet marks, I think. And I need to. Oh god, is there? There's no medical center on Drizona, is there? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh, Nikki's here. I see Nikki. Hey, hey, Nikki. Yeah, hey, Nikki. Hello, Hello Nikki. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, so, what I will do is repair the old-fashioned way. And I can't because I don't have... Dang, nebbit. Um, 
Did you say Dag Nabbit? <laughs> yeah. What are you, Yosemite Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get some varmints. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, some tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> Roadrunner. <laughs> <laughs> me, me. Uh, let's see, what queue will we do next? Um, how about a red alert? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, we'll do. Cool. Yeah, um. <laughs> Yeah, we'll start with a Borg Red Alert first. All right. <laughs> They're uh, quite popular. And um, might do a Tholian one. I'm not gone on the Zenkethi Red Alert. I, uh, I, I'm not either. Yeah, I don't I like it. I hate that one. Yeah, it, it's too much. For, for the rewards you get, it's not, it's not worth it. Yeah, and those stupid torpedoes always hit the planet. Right. The time investment is too much. Oh, Nikki, you're trying to figure out what ship to buy? Well. All of them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, anyone that's interested, uh, we know that Nikki got some pretty cool Priority One Armada swag uh, in the post recently that she purchased from the... Uh, Armada store, and she took a picture of it and uh, put it up on the website. It's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, very cool shirt. I totally want the Mirror Universe version. Oh yeah. man, I have so cool. I have the very same one that Nikki has, and uh, I'm wearing it right now. I love it. It's uh, it's my streaming T-shirt. Awesome. All right, what are we doing? A red alert? Yeah, uh, start it off with a Borg red alert. Okay. I don't even know what marks I need anymore. All of them. All the marks, I know, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you going to pick, like, one character you get to tier six on all your stuff on so it makes it easier for the others? Or Well, well no. Once you get a character to tier five, it's going to automatically sponsor that reputation for every character on the account. You mean tier six, right? No, tier five. Oh. Yeah, not unless they're changing it, but they've said tier five. That's going to happen at tier five. That's going to be a new tier five reward, which means mm. the tier five to tier six grind is going to be sponsored automatically. Cause okay, well, would, that's better. It would have to uh, uh, sponsor itself, uh, th and that's what it's going to do, it seems. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, no more burning off sponsorship tokens. Um, yeah, because that's a huge pain in the butt. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, it is if you've got a lot of characters, because it can turn out to be very expensive. <laughs> yeah, that's my point. Yeah, because I mean, for if me... If you only have, like, two or three characters, it, yeah, whatever. Not a big deal, but when you've got 40 characters, you're looking at 4,000 marks, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Oh, Knuckles is asking about what about sponsors. So the way it works now is if you hit tier five in a reputation, you can purchase for 100 marks what's called a sponsorship token uh, that you can transfer to another character via your account bank. Or the Can you mail it? I don't know. No, no, it has to go through the account bank. Okay, so if your other character then picks it up, on the account bank and claims it, then it doubles the amount of reward points you get for leveling up that reputation on that character. Right. So normally it takes uh, 40 days to go from tier 0 to tier 5. With a sponsorship token, it only takes 20 days. Since you're getting double the XP, the time is cut in half. So instead of 40, it's 20. Um, so, yeah. What's going to happen now is... When you get to tier 5, it's going to automatically sponsor every character on your account. 
So you don't have... They're getting rid of the sponsorship tokens, basically. And just doing it automatically, which is kind of cool. That's going to be a good addition to the game, I think. Wow, I keep dying in this red alert. Oh, really? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting too close to these Borg ships. Kablooey! Okay, what have I not picked yet? Um, 8472, we'll pick you. I'm gonna leave... Okay, will we do a Tholian Red Alert next? That sounds good. Awesome. I'm still in my Borg Red Alert. Uh, yeah, so we'll go for a Tholian Red Alert next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, wow, that was quick. So, everybody, if you're available, queue up for Tholium uh, Red Alert right now, and we'll all jump in together as one great big huge group and annihilate the Tholians. Yep, just after getting into one here now, so you shouldn't be too far behind us. If we do get an Age of Discovery reputation, I'd be interested in the costume set unlock. Yeah. If there's a ground set, that might be interesting. I, I've i been kind of wondering what they're going to do with uh, Klingons and Age of Discovery, if anything. I know. Um, I'm dying to know. I love those Klingons. I know some people don't like Discovery, but I love it. I like the Klingons. I like that whole story. Um, it I'm seems, on the fence. It seems they're like they are going to add them, because uh, uh, Al Rivera said we've got every type of Klingon in game. So I, I wonder, is it going to be, is it going to be a species unlock, you know, through the C store or something else, you know? Or yeah, they did say playable captains, so I suspect maybe a Klingon and a Fed captain, maybe. Who, who knows? Yeah. Um, or it could be a costume in the lobby store again. Uh, I think they've done that in the past as well, haven't they? Oh, yeah, the Kelvin stuff? Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there's the Tholian finished. Wow, that was really quick. That was, that was good going, actually. 
bit of loose here. Pick that up. Any more? Knuckles, uh, yeah, we have another giveaway to do. We'll be doing it very, very soon. Um, yeah, so don't go anywhere. Um, let's see. Do you think, guys, should we finish up now or should we do one more queue? I think we could do one more. I'm finishing up my Thelian one right now. Okay, um... How about we finish up with the breach again? It'll be off cooldown now. Yeah. It'll be a choice of marks. And yeah, we'll we'll finish up how we started. Okay. That sounds good. Right. So uh, uh everybody you answered the question in chat though. All we gave away the same prize. Yeah, we're giving away the same prize. Yeah, um, uh, accelerated officer training pack codes is what we're giving away tonight. Um, that varies from time to time. Sometimes it could be keys, sometimes it could be ships, sometimes it's codes for something, sometimes it's codes for something else. Uh, it just varies. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, everyone queue up for the breach event and uh, that'll be the last queue that we do. Then we'll do our final giveaway and we'll wrap up the show. So, Poet Twist, uh, JJ uh, Trek is known as the Kelvin timeline because of the USS Kelvin that um, the Narada uh, met and uh, ultimately destroyed with uh, uh, James T. Kirk's father at the helm. <laughs> See you, Kroll. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Hope you had a yep. good night. See ya. Thanks for coming. Bye. Yeah, bye, dude. Who am I in here with? Uh, is that Cat? No, that's not Cat. Uh, nope, I'm not in there yet. Um, I'm pretty sure Discovery is the Prime Universe, uh, Hicks. Um, I think so, yeah. Because it's 10 years before Kirk and Spock. Yeah. They definitely couldn't get the licensing from the JJ-verse, for sure, because it's CBS and that's Paramount, and they all hate each other, so... <laughs> it's such a pity that, you know, the, the, the franchise was split between the two. You know, it should never have happened. I mean... It it makes for just a legal licensing nightmare, actually. Yeah. I mean, I'd hate to be those attorneys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I would love it, but, <laughs> but lawyer nerd. <laughs> it's um, it, it's not good for the fans, you know, having a split like that because it's caused so much problems. And it really has, messing. though. Yeah, because it ruins continuity right. and you know all of that. Yeah, it's it's a real shame. All right, I just joined the breach queue. Fantastic. We just finished our last one.
thanks a million to everyone who uh, joined us this evening for tonight's show. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed it so far. Um, remember that we do this every week. Uh, we cover the latest in Star Trek Online news, as well as Priority One Armada news. And um, then we team up with you guys, the viewers, and we do stuff like this. We go to an adventure zone and earn marks and dilithium and XP or do queues and do the same thing. So it's a, you know it's a regularly scheduled event where you can build up currencies and you know play the game with loads of other players. Um, yeah, and of course, if you're looking for a group to join, Priority One Armada is always recruiting every every week, every day of the week. We're always getting new members. Um, we're always getting new signups. Uh, so we're a very very active community. And um, that's what we are. It is a community. Um, I firmly believe that. It really, really is. Oh, definitely. I yes. think so. Ooh, wow. There's a vengeance in this one, and it really looks cool. And you're flying your vengeance as well? No, nope, I'm in the recon, uh, fed ah, recon ship. Right, right, right. Oh. I, thought you were a, I thought you were in a vengeance earlier, weren't you? I was. I switched. Oh, you switched characters. <laughs> right, okay. Keeping now it fresh. I'm with you. <laughs> now I stand on there. Yeah. Okay. Remember, guys, look for the question mark when you're opening the power relays for the, uh, the core. If it's got a question mark, it's the wrong one. Yeah, then you get zapped <laughs> by do, yeah. electrical damage. <laughs> I think I did mine on Elite. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> you crazy, you, did... you crazy. What? That... I haven't died yet. <sighs> Came close. I just died. Me too. Dang it. <laughs> I'm going good so far. Right, now on to the central core. Hicks four five one four six is taking off. Good night, Hicks. Have a good night, Hicks. Us, Hicks. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks a million, dude. Hope you had a good night. And we are done. Just follow the dude with the fireworks. We are just getting into the chamber. Yep, we're breaking down the door. And we're out.
Wonderful. Excellent. Nice. Seems like a lot of people were joining us. Uh, that 20 man queue hit so fast. That was awesome. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yes, that it was. was. Fantastic. I wonder if a second instance of us uh, uh, kicked in. No, it did not. Right, what sort of marks do I want this time? Um, pick something I haven't picked before. Yeah, we'll go with Delta. Another 181 marks. Woohoo! You're still in there, uh, Jason, are you? Yes, I'm almost trying to get out. Yep, no problem, no problem. No problem at all. Um... See, is there anything that we could do that would be really quick? Uh, how about a crystalline catastrophe while we're waiting? That works. Yeah, okay. Crystalline catastrophe advanced, everyone. Queue up for that now if you are free. Uh, if you're not, uh, just you know, finish out the queue that you're already in. And I see everybody's complaining about my inventory. Uh, but look at all the space I have down here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I do need to clean it out. Uh, yeah, definitely. Wait, your inventory is full? Not, not quite. I've still got plenty of space. Um, and I'm, I'm not stuck for space. And I'm finally out. <laughs> oh, you're right, are you? Yes. Are you in, cat? In I'm route. still in. You're still in. All right. Okay. On <laughs> today's episode of Hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like that's my inventory or my bank on some characters. <laughs> I think my bank's overwhelmed on mine, but I emptied out the inventory for tonight. Uh, let's see, this queue is not uh, kicking off at all, whatever the issue is, I don't know. Oh man, I got squished. It's just not doing it. All right, I tell you what, um, Jason, me and you will just make good radio while we're waiting for Cat. Okay. Because uh, that queue ain't popping, so. Um, Crystalline catastrophe? That's weird. Yeah. Maybe a bunch. Uh, maybe a bunch of them already went into it, and uh, there just wasn't enough for a second queue. Um, no big deal. No big deal. Um. Someone's saying they bugged you. Uh, whoever it is, they're not important. <laughs> oh, wow. So has anything interesting happened with you today, or this week, Winters? Um, not really. Um, let's see, anything interesting. I've been working on a lot of admin stuff. I've been doing a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff to do with Priority 1 Armada. Um, yeah, I've been very busy with that. Cat knows what I'm talking about. Actually, I have to talk yep. to you about it um, at, at the end of the show as well, um, Jason. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's just more you know, paperwork side of things um, is kind of what I've been working on for the last the last week, really. Um, yeah. Ew. I have been I can tell a, you. a little bit of Far Cry 5. I've been playing a little bit of that. That computer game or console game? No, well, it's both. Okay. Yeah, it's a first-person shooter. Um, I'm a fan of the Far Cry series. Um, yeah. I'm not really big in the first shooters. 
mean, I like simulation type games, especially, I mean, the first time I ever played Command and Conquer was on the PlayStation 1. All right, yeah. Yeah, uh, ret Retaliation was, it, it got me hooked. Then, of course, a buddy of mine introduced me to Red Alert 2, and then, of course, when General Zero Hour come out, we're trying quickly to get his computer up to date to where we can play it, or even, you know, it was yeah, it was a mess. Uh, zero hour, man! I had so much fun with zero hour and generals, and oh god, that takes me back. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played those games. But lately, the last few few days, I mean, I've been helping my neighbor out. He uh, needed someone to install his stereo, a uh, stereo into his truck. Like, oh, I know how to do that. So he ended up giving me a. Brand new, it's about a hundred and thirty something dollar air compressor. Oh wow! Yeah, I mean he's had it for a couple of years, but it still works good. So I mean he wanted forty bucks for it, and I was like, well, I guess that's worth forty dollars. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No, not at all. Oh. Of all course. Right, I'm out waiting on marks now. All righty then. Um... Well, let's finish off the show with our last giveaway for tonight. So what we would like each of you to do is to please type in the word Lorca into the Twitch chat now to enter yourself in with a chance of winning an Accelerated Officer Training Pack code. This is our final giveaway. So please type in the word Lorca into the Twitch chat. Lorca? Oh, I wonder who picked that one. I wonder who. <laughs> Um, some guy named James uh, that we're going to give a shot uh, hosting will be uh, here next week. Joining him will be Rikers. As with every show, we will be talking about the latest news from Star Trek Online and the Priority One Armada. Plus, we may have a special giveaway, so you don't want to miss next week's show. We love conversing with players from all over the world, so why don't you come join us in-game by joining the Priority One chat channel. It's simple to join. Just type in the game chat box forward slash channel underscore join space Priority One and then hit the enter key. And if you're looking for a friendly and helpful community to join in Star Trek Online, then come join Priority One Armada by simply heading over to PriorityOneArmada.com and sign up today. We have Federation and KDF fleets on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Don't miss a thing from the world of Star Trek. Catch all the latest news regarding the Star Trek multiverse on Priority One, a Roddenberry Star Trek podcast. Get a new episode every Friday by pointing your favorite podcast app to feeds.priorityonepodcast.com. And if you want to be notified of our next live stream, then follow our Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash priority one. You never know when we have another giveaway, even though we just said that. <laughs> you can also catch up on our past live streams because, you know, our shows are awesome. Uh, if you go to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash P1 network, all one word. All right, well, it is time to award the winner of our final giveaway for tonight's show. And the winner is... Maldor Saldon. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Congratulations. You have won an Accelerated Officer Training Pack code. Uh, if you can please contact me and let me know what your in-game at handle is, we will send that prize, prize on to you at the end of the show. Congrats. Congrats. Finally, uh, I want to say a very special thank you to our team, Kat, Jason, Sean, Mark, and Agony, uh, well, for hosting and for promoting tonight's show for the STO community. And of course, a big thanks to you guys, the viewers, who make this show possible. It's the people's show, and we will endeavor to give you the best entertaining show possible. So until next week, take care, live long and prosper, good night and good luck. Say goodbye, guys. Bye. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Adios.